Okay, picking up action here in the bottom of the uh, third inning at Jacobs Field where the Indians lead this contest with the Royals 2 to nothing. Top of the order for the Indians is up, and that is uh, Kenny Lofton. Batting against a right a left hander, Chris Haney, who's a master grade nine with a R letter. 62 is a 32, and that's a fly out to right. One down. Batting second for the Indians is Omar Vizquel. This is a 1995 American League replay using the Apple Master game. 62 on Vizquel's card is a 30, and that's a fly out to left. Two down. Batting third for the Indians, Carlos Bayarga. 55. Should be good. 55 is an 8. Checking Bayarga's batting characteristics. He's a plus 3 on lefties, which means he's good against lefties. So that's going to take. Haney's 9 grade down to a 6, a 9 to a 6. So he knocks him down 3 points. So 55 9 against a 6 is a base hit for Carlos Bayargo. Brings up monster card Albert Bell. 50 home runs in a shortened season. 33. That's going to be good. 33 on a Bell's card is a 5. That's typically a home run to your basic players, but there's a couple things we have to check in the Master game. First, we're going to check Bell's batting characteristics against lefties. Bell is a minus 5, which means we are going to, he's not as good against lefties, which is kind of odd for a righty, but that's Bell. Minus five. So we're going to add five points to Chris Haney's nine, which will bring it to a 14. So we'll check the 14 result on runner on first. Make sure um, there's no change. There is no change. Next thing we're going to check is the ballpark effects. Jacobs Field is a minus two, which means a roll of 11 or two, and that is a long fly out. 62. So that is a two run home run for Albert Bell. Out of here. Don't call me Joey. Let's put it in the scoreboard. That is a two-run shot. Next up, Eddie, eat, drink, and be Murray. Sixty-one. Murray's car. Sixty-one is a twenty-four. The ground in a short. That's the end of the inning. After three, it's the Indians four, Royals nothing.